Let me down now, boys. Well, I'll tell you what's on now uh, here in the news centre. It really is, uh, frankly, a great pleasure to welcome two guests whose voices will certainly be familiar to all of you, although you may not recognise their faces. Their golden voices have introduced thousands and thousands of programmes, including, of course, many editions of Calendar on YTV for many, many years. Redvers Kyle, without doubt, the voice of YTV, who was here and as an announcer on the very first day, 25 years ago. This is Yorkshire Television. Now the intricate world of home and away. Lou makes a big decision, and Shane gets some rough justice. Well, that was Redvers uh, just about uh, an hour ago, making his very last announcement on YTV. But Redvers, before we meet him, he has, in fact, an even more illustrious history than his story at YTV, because he was one of the very first announcers on Associated Rediffusion, and that was the very first ITV company in September 1955. So the career of Redvers Kyle is synonymous with ITV itself. And today, after 37 years in the announcer's booth, he's hanging up his headphones for good. And so is Graham Roberts, another veteran of the continuity suite. Graham's rich and yet muscly voice is well known to YTV viewers, of course. And this is how he normally sounds. The early part of this Friday on YTV starts at 7 o'clock with another jaunt into our celebrity squares with Bob Monkhouse before we cross over to Coronation Street at 7.30 to see what trouble's facing Doug tonight. Well, here they are. Here they are. Here are the faces. There you are. Good look at them. This is what they look like. And aren't they a fine couple? <laughs> now it can be told. Uh, now it can <laughs> be told on the day they leave. Why are you both leaving at the same day and the same time? It's terribly sad. I can't bear it. Why is this? Well, it's we're purely a matter of... We are inseparable. Old age. And, 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 yes, old age and sandwiches and, uh, <laughs> and lack of... All right, tell me this, then. You're the most uh, respected uh, duo in the business. I know that. What is the secret, Redvers and Graham, of being a continuity announcer? What is the... What, the secret is to, to be able to keep very calm at all times, or rather to appear to keep calm at all times. Keep the voice in good trim, don't smoke, <laughs> no spirits, and uh, keep, always keep on top of your... Must have a bit of fun, though, Greg. Yes, you can't smoke, all, no course. spirits. Absolutely. <laughs> so you can sort of look at, uh, at all these lovely ladies on the programmes in the deep watches of the night or in the early part of the morning. But I like watching the telly, you know, Richard, I think, really. Well, of course, because you have to sit. You must have sat through thousands and thousands of hours of terrible, terrible programmes yeah, to watch. But we've also seen some programmes that other people have missed. Mm. You know, nearly always when you meet somebody in the next morning, they say, did you see so-and-so last night? And you say, oh, no. Oh, what a pity. You missed a great show. Well, we don't miss those. Now, Redvers. First, everyone says Redvers. That's a funny name. What is, is, is it South African? No, it's, uh, it's a West Country West name. West Country. It can be Devonshire or Cornwall or even Wales. But you were born in South Africa, were you? I was, yes. yes. Named after my father, who, funnily enough, was named after General Sir Redvers Buller, right. the hopeless British leader in the <laughs> South African War. <laughs> but, no, no, we saw you in the very early days of YTV. Uh, the announcers were in vision, but uh, that was not to be. But Redvers uh, has, in fact, uh, been in vision very much so as a presenter in an earlier life. And we managed to dig this out of the archives, Redvers. Have a look at this oh. years ago. Rockets. Well, the earliest known record of the principle of rocket propulsion being used is Hero's engine. And we have here this afternoon a little model which has been made to work on the same principle as Hero's engine. It was specially made for us by the Royal Institution. <laughs> Good looking chap. Of course, uh, people That's change. My younger brother. Yeah, people change. Voices never change, do they, as people get older somehow, do they? No, it's the one thing that doesn't seem to change, fortunately. Well, that was a series, by the way, in one of the programmes, the autocue ripped apart. It was on paper in those days, yeah, well. and it ripped. And so I had to say, well, let's go back on the point so far. Yes. We'll, su <laughs> we'll sum up on what... What a pro. <laughs> now, of course, Graham's a man of many voices, and we haven't got an archive clip of uh, Graham, but, of course, you will know, I hope, that he's George Barford in The Archers, and uh, he's uh, very popular. And we've got a little clip of one of your great moments, uh, Graham, from just a few weeks ago in The Archers. Listen to this. I did put the poison down, Chris. I'm sorry. I killed Robin's dog. Oh, no. And I feel awful about it. It's making me into a liar. I've lied to Robin about it, and to Caroline and Mr. Woolley. And now I've lied to you. Well, I've never saw your lips move there. That was a very powerful scene, that, wasn't it, for George? Always powerful. Well, George always gets the sort of heavies. I don't know whether it's this sort of the deep end of Yorkshire. 
you know, to pull to that end. Thank you very much. Listen, we have to go. Jeff right. and I will say goodbye. But we'll, so, as a special treat, it's your last appearance, and we, what you thought you made a last announcement, we would like you now to announce in vision, for the very last time, first time in vision, last time, last announcement, the next programme, please. We will say goodnight. <laughs> yes. Good night. I'll leave it in the hands of the experts. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Well, coming up uh, next tonight on Yorkshire Television, the first of a brand new series of Seeing Stars with a really talented and wonderful singer from our very own Bradford. And that's after the weather forecast from Bob Ross. <laughs> Hello, well, the end of an era there with Graham and Red was retiring, and I suppose that leaves me. I'll have to do the dusting in this studio in future. Well, I hope they're wearing the thermals. In fact, we'll all need the thermals with a very wintry weekend in store, and we can see the reason why on the forecast chart tomorrow. Well, there we are. We can see the winds coming from the north, tightly packed ice of our strong winds, and they're going to bring some snow showers.